Hello, my name is Dave Parkinson, and I wrote the Craigslist Autoresponder. In this short demo, I'll be showing you what is the Craigslist Autoresponder, how does it work, and how it can help you. So let's get started. This is the screen that we're going to see once you log in or once you create an account with us. And what we do on this screen is we list all of your desires. As you can see, there's not really any desires listed because we haven't created any yet. And so it prompts us to create a desire here. Now let's back up and talk about what a desire is. A desire is something we want. However, in the context of the Craigslist autoresponder, a desire is something that we want that can be found on Craigslist. So let's go ahead and create a desire. Here are some instructions for how to create a desire. So the idea is once you complete this form, we're going to have a desire created for you. We're going to email the two most recent posts on Craigslist and then Every 15 or 20 minutes, as soon as there's a new post that matches what you're looking for in this particular desire, we'll send an email on your behalf with the title and the body that you specify. So let's come to that in a second. First of all, you need to tell us how can we find what you want us to find. So the easiest way of doing that that I could think of was for you to perform a search on this list just step one here. Uh, and then once you do that, copy the URL from the browser's address bar and paste it into this text box here. We have an example of what that would look like. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go to Seattle's Craigslist. Now we have a mansion that we're looking for someone to rent a room in, so we're going to go to Seattle. And our mansion is pretty posh, so let's put the minimum search result at $1,400. Now if you remember, the first step was to perform a search using at least one search term, so in this case it was uh, rent, the price. And now we're going to copy the URL, which is up here in what we call the address bar, so we can right double click it, right click copy, come back over here, and select paste, there we go. Then we're going to select a title and a body so we can say hello notice you were looking for a, a room we have a mansion that I believe meets your needs please contact me via email or visit capitalhillmansion.com Sincerely, David, and we'd probably put our phone number there. So the next step is to select, uh, yes, we want to activate it now. Yeah, we're going to create the desire. So like, like I said before, it's going to find the two most recent postings on Craigslist and send this email which with the title and body that we specified for us so we don't have to. Then after that, every 15 or 20 minutes, it's going to make sure that uh, we have responded to all the posts that meet our desire. So before we jump into all this stuff, let's make sure that it worked. So here is the email account for one of the first couple listings that, that uh, were uh, listed for the mansion in, in Seattle with the $1,400 starting price tag. And here's an email coming from, from us saying that we noticed you're looking for a room, blah, blah, blah. And we can see it worked because it was sent one minute ago. So it does work. That's great. So let's jump back. Uh, or before we jump back, the other fun thing to note is sometimes when you're sending lots of uh, auto responses to, to folks, it can be difficult to know which posting it's regarding. So we add this line. I found your posting here, and you can click through to see the post so you have some better context when you're replying to the interest parties when they actually respond back. So let's jump back to the application. That's the basic idea. So you can create as many desires as you would like, and they will show up here. 
like they do here uh, for this first one. Now the features on this screen allow you to click on the desire and go to the uh, search uh, results that are applicable. And this makes sense because this is what we were looking for earlier. Housing wanted, Seattle, rent $1,400. It also gives a brief snippet of the title, the body of the email. The status is whether we will be auto-responding for this desire or not in a set of um, actions which are pretty self-explanatory. So that's the main view. That's the view all desires view. It's the same thing. And now let's jump into the view sent emails view. So here, true to its word, the Craigslist autoresponder sent the first two emails. Uh, on our behalf for us to these two posts and we can actually click through to view them on Craigslist. They both work. It also gives us how many hours ago they were posted and the poster's email address which we can just click and uh, it'll easily send an email uh, to this address as well as some more self-explanatory actions. So that is the first three tabs New Desire which we created, View All Desires View sent emails. We also have this fourth button, view or make payments, which we hope you'll click often. And you can actually uh, make a payment here, which we won't do. But take a note that you do get a free trial when you sign up. So you don't have to worry about this button for a while. Now let's jump into the final bit of the tour, which is the account settings section. So here, it's pretty standard. We allow you to change your login, your email address. Uh, now the Gmail address and password is something you would have given us a sign up during the sign up process but you can also change it here. We actually relay all the emails that we send through the Craigslist autoresponder through uh, any Gmail account that you give us that we have the right login and password for. Now the, the, uh, the next portion here is the duplication pr uh, protection. So what does that mean? Well, if you post on Craigslist and you get a bunch of duplicate emails from someone, you're likely to be pissed off. So we try not to, to make people upset, and that's why we built uh, the duplication protection. So the idea there is you will not send the same email response to a given party who's posting on Craigslist uh, when you select yes. And the cool off period is how many days before we send a duplicate email on your behalf. So, for instance, with a cool off period of 30 days, if someone posted uh, something um, that you responded to, I don't know, uh, 45 days ago, and then they posted last week, then that would have been more than 30 days since you've last emailed them. So it will allow the system will allow a response to be sent on your behalf because it's greater than 30 days and this can be set. So hopefully that makes sense. The final bit to note here is you can change your password as well as confirming your new password. That's basically the entire tour of the Craigslist Thought Responder. Hope that makes sense. And I think that the last thing I'll show you is that it can be very effective. We have um, a different email account here. I'll try to pause to show this list. So everything we see here is a response from someone who we sent to. So the, the way it works is someone posts on Craigslist. We have a desire that matches that, that post. So the autoresponder, what it does is it sends an email on our behalf to the person who posted this person, for instance, the person who posted uh, a post that we were interested in. And then when they reply uh, to the email that we send, then, then we get the email back. So the idea is to send responses to everyone uh, that matches the desires that you're looking for. So hopefully that makes sense. You now understand what it does and how it can help you save time and the frustration of copy-paste uh, the same response over and over again. And also to make sure that you really get the, uh, the items or as we call them desires that you're looking for 
because the autoresponder has infinite patience and makes sure that you have that first mover advantage by sending emails every 20 minutes or so where you just don't have the time to be doing that yourself. Thanks very much for your time, and I really appreciate you checking out the Craigslist autoresponder. Thanks.